Okay, today we're going to be making a round crochet purse. And you're going to need some um, fabric strips about a half inch or some t-shirt yarn. I'm using the t-shirt yarn half an inch and uh, an eight millimeter hook. And later on we'll be using some uh, regular yarn with a 5.50 millimeter hook at the end of the video. And you're just going to make a slip knot to start off with. And you're just going to put the short end over the long end and pull the long end through like that. Put your hook in and tighten it up. And then we're going to be chaining uh, five chain stitches. So you just put your yarn over the hook and pull it through that hook loop that's on the hook. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to be connecting the two ends together to form a circle. So you just put the hook into that very first stitch. You put the yarn over the hook and you pull it through both of those loops to form a circle. Then we're going to be working this tail around. We're going to be working the single crochets over that tail. So now we're going to be doing single crochets into the circle. So you put your hook into the circle and pull up that fabric. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that's a single crochet. So we're going to go ahead and do another one. Put the hook through the circle and bring up the fabric. Yarn over and pull through both of those loops for a single crochet. Now we're going to put as many single crochets into this uh, circle as we can. And pull on the tail to tighten it up. Okay, now we're going to slip stitch it into the beginning stitch. So you just put your hook through that very first stitch. And pull the fabric through and then pull it through again on the loop that's on the hook to slip stitch it closed. Okay, now we're going to be doing uh, two single crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So here's one, and two. So we're working into this back loop right here so we can create a rib effect going around. 
So you don't want to work into both of those loops right there. Just work into this back one and we're going to put two single crochets into each of the back loops. Okay, now we're back to uh, the beginning of the round. So go ahead and place a stitch marker right here where the row will begin. And we're not going to slip stitch it together. We're just going to start work into a continuous spiral. So go ahead and go into the next stitch, into the back loop, and put in two single crochets. There's one. Two. And in this round, we're going to go two single crochet and then one single crochet, two single crochet and then one single crochet, two single crochet and then one single crochet. And we're going to do that all the way around. So the next stitch is going to be one single crochet. The next stitch is going to be two single crochet in the same stitch. There's one, two. The next stitch is going to be one single crochet in the back loop. We're working into the back loops on all of these. The next one is two single crochet. One, two. The next one is one single crochet. One. Next one is two single crochet. One, two. The next one is one single crochet. The next one is two single crochet. One, two. The next one is one single crochet. Then two single crochet. Two. The next one is one single crochet. The next one is two single crochet. One. Two. The next one is one single crochet. Next one is two single crochet. One, two. Next one is one single crochet. The next one is two single crochet. There's one. Two. The next one is one single crochet.
And the next one is two single crochet. One. Two. Okay, now we're at the end of the row. And I can tell because we're working in a spiral, and this is where the spiral started right here. So you kind of see that right there. And it goes around like this. And that's what I'm going by. But you can put, place a stitch marker right here so you know when the round is going to end. Okay. Now the next row we're going to be doing one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet. We're going to be doing that all the way around. So the next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochet. One, two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochet. One, two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. One, two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. One, two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. One, two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. There's one, two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. One, Two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two single crochets. One. Two. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is one single crochet. The next stitch is two. One. Two. And then we'll end with one single crochet and that's the end of that round. Okay, and this ends that round. So now we're going to change it again. We're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches and then two single crochet. So here's one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two single crochet. One, two. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two. One, two. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two. There's one and two. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two. One. Two. 
one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two. One, two. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two. One, two. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two single crochets into the next one. Two. One single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two. One. And then one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, one single crochet into the next, and then two single crochets. One, two. Okay, and that was the end of that round. Okay, we've got one more round to go. So we're going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches and then two single crochet. We're going to repeat that all the way around. So go ahead and work that. You're going to do one single crochet in the next, 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 and then two single crochet. And you're going to keep repeating that formula all the way around. So go ahead and work that. Okay, so now you should have six rows. Now we're going to go ahead and do one single crochet into the back loop all around. So just one single crochet into each back loop. If you like the video and you find it helpful, Please go back and uh, consider subscribing to the Hook and Loops channel. I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean a lot to me. Today I'm working inside because it's cold and it snowed today. And it's really pretty. Everything is just covered with white snow. But it's too cold for me to be working out there today. So I'm doing this inside. The lighting probably isn't as good. That's okay. Now you want to go around twice. So after we get all the way back around to the beginning, which is right here, and you can tell it from where the spiral begins right there, or you can just put a stitch marker and move it up every time you go around. But after this round, we're going to do one more round of single crochet into the back loop all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and work ahead. So you can stop the video and work ahead as well.